Hey guys, I'm Abhishek from Plugin India. All of us at Plugin India own only electric vehicles and create content for the EV community. In this episode, we're going to talk about Chinese state-owned Shanghai Automotive Industry Corporation's uh, sub-brand MG Motors, who are working on a mass-market electric car for India and other emerging markets. In an earlier episode of Electric Car Watch, I spoke about the Wuling Mini EV made by two large Chinese car makers, SAIC, Wuling and the American giant GM. The car has already sold more than 427,000 units of these small electric cars in China since it was launched in 2020. This has been a massive hit for SAIC, Wuling and GM. SAIC has suddenly realized that why should they not brand the car under their more acceptable British sounding brand name, MG Motors and sell the Wuling Mini EV to more countries. It does make sense as MG is a known brand and already has dealerships in many countries. Essentially, SAIC are telling Wuling and GM to take a hike because we will go alone on this. This new mini EV is expected to cost around $12,000 or rupees 9 lakhs in India. The rumors are that SAIC will launch this car in Southeast Asian, Indian and Middle Eastern markets. In the next phase, they plan to launch the car in Europe, Japan and South Korea. So yeah, this will be a global small electric car which can be owned by millions all over the world. The MG320, as they'll be calling it, will be built on the SAIC GM Wuling Global Small Electric Vehicle Platform. The MG320 uses 20 kilowatt hour LFP batteries, which should sell at around 8 to 9 lakh rupees. The interesting thing to note is that the current Wuling Mini EV is sold with the 9 and 13 kilowatt hour battery packs. If MG adds a 20 kilowatt hour battery pack, then the car will have a range of 300 kilometers per charge. That is incredible. Do remember that the Wuling Mini EV is a small, lightweight car. It does not need a lot of batteries for high range. Even a car having a battery with 20 kilowatt hour capacity can easily do 200 kilometers per charge. The car is also expected to come equipped with ABS, rear parking sensors, an advanced driver assistance system, automatic parking, voice command, and dual front airbags. These safety features are a must for any car in India these days. So it's very good to see that they will be provided. In an official statement, MG Motor India President and Managing Director Rajiv Chaba said, and I quote, the launch will be an electric crossover based on a global platform. The EV will be launched by the end of financial year 2023 and will be customized for range, Indian regulations and customer tastes. This will be a mass market EV for all emerging markets, including India, end quote. So we can expect the car to be launched in April or May 2023. That's one year from now. Here is a small car from MG that could be priced at rupees 9 to 10 lakhs and go 200 kilometers per charge. It will also have all the modern safety features and EV tech features like OTA software updates and connectivity. Will this two-door EV be attractive for you? We have already had a two-door electric car launched in 2013 called the Mahindra Riva E2. It had a 10 kilowatt hour pack that won 100 or 120 kilometers with basic EV tech features and average safety features. We all know that the car did not do well, but the awareness of EVs has definitely increased and petrol prices have increased dramatically as well. We feel that there is greater acceptance of the two-door body style because people want an affordable electric car right now and this might just be it. I think this is the perfect electric car for someone like me. My only issue is the price. 9 to 10 lakhs for a small two-door electric car with 200 kilometers range seems a tough spell. Two rupees seven lakhs would have probably been a better price. Unfortunately, modern cars are expensive with all the safety requirements and LFP cells, which are not cheap. The solution would be to make the cells in India at scale. That will take some time. Maybe Ola Electric will have an advantage when they launch the electric cars as they make those cells. All in all, these are very exciting times. 2023 is when we start seeing sub 10 lakh rupee electric cars in India. The Chinese small cars are already here. Tata and Mahindra will be forced to re-evaluate their strategy and not launch expensive electric SUVs all the time. So what do you think about MG's small car plans? Do you like the MG Mini EV? Let us know in the comments below. And thanks for watching. I will see you all next week.